the priest on uh, this is not a burial um this i mean you this was the last piece that the legendary mameri twala mm -hmm. um was captured in mm -hmm. it was also playing in lesotho mm -hmm. it feels a lot more to me um i've not really had the privilege to watch the fullness of it i've just seen mm -hmm. moments and conversations and it it feels a lot like an experimental film mm -hmm. what kind of work was that it was my favorite experience yeah, yeah. Because you were working with somebody who's not who's not working according to how people are taught to work. Mm -hmm. So he works he works in his own way. He works how he feels, mm -hmm. and so you can you can do the script today, and he decides actually no, just do this, mm -hmm. or so you never know what you're gonna get. And he was very clear about how he wanted to, to see it. So he, even with, even like the cameraman would be, the DOP would be there and set up a shot and he said, no, no I don't want, let, let them do the whole shot facing away from the camera. Uh, yeah. So he's that kind of guy. Yeah. So, but what it does is that it keeps everybody alive. So everybody's alive in the moment. And you're not saying I've done this 50 times mm -hmm. or I've done this. It's not an experience like that. And then you're up in the mountains, there's not, not a lot of resources. So, and a lot of the village people are the extras. And mm. so it's, it's, it's immersed in a culture. And, and for me as a cre creatively, mm. that's what I love. I love creatives who, who, where their voice is present. Mm. So a theater maker or a filmmaker whose voice is present. Mm. And in this film, his voice, and, and the success of it is because of that. Yes. It's not trying to be in a certain genre. It's yeah. not trying, trying to be, it's not trying to be anything. It's what it is in itself. And it's, it's his art. voice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's what art is. You know, you don't want to make a drawing that's like other guys drawing. I love that. Yeah. So let's speak about